speech, but I'm not an expert. <laughs> Maybe George or Jerry. <laughs> Born in Paris and raised in Detroit, Claudia has made a name for herself as a chanteuse in clubs, recital halls, and theaters. Her five recorded albums celebrate Paris and French song. She has also fostered collaborations between French and American artists and worked closely with French organizations such as the Federation of Alliance Française USA. So dear Claudia, congratulations on this well-deserved award and we hope we will hear you sing later this evening. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> having settled there after World War II, my father to study music. They were quickly immersed in a milieu that began with Shakespeare and company Sylvia Beach, mm -hmm. Jean Prévert, and Nadia Boulanger, and friends from the West Indies and from Asia. And they could debate ardently the politics of the day and disagree and still <laughs> remain friends. <laughs> Paris was a remarkable melange of culture and ideas, and everyone was speaking French and admittedly some English. But my upbringing totally and profoundly influenced my view of the world, and being from Paris really meant something to me as I was growing up. I was a different kind of child as a result. As a young performer, I was imbued with French songs that my mother listened to, or the Gabriel Fauré books of songs that was on my father's piano. But because I had lost my native tongue, being a little too young coming back to Detroit, I hesitated to perform the repertoire until friends from Haiti and teachers of French <laughs> encouraged me to bring this repertoire to the schools, to the museums, to the theaters. And so Paris-themed cabaret concerts became my entree into school programs with Souvenirs de Paris, 1950, and Paris in the Jazz Age. I was finally able to sing back in France. I was invited to sing at the Musée de Montmartre and the Cabaret La Pergile. So I was quite flummoxed to realize that Cabaret was no longer on the Ministry of Culture's list of exportable French music and theater. I know, it's astonishing. <laughs> <laughs> but there were performers who would say, Cabaret est mort, and somebody in the audience would get up and say, Vive le Cabaret. So we formed, I kept on looking for French performers who were doing Cabaret. Now what is Cabaret? Cabaret is basically any kind of theater, music, shadow puppets, magic even, dance, but it's always up close and personal. It's being in a room this size with a piano like that. And so I found some colleagues in Paris and in the rest of France, in the south of France, in Sète, in Montpellier, in Lyon, and we formed the Chicago Paris Cabaret Connexion. We just finished celebrating the sixth international exchange with 70 participants, um, six concerts, five days of master classes and workshops, and we will be back in Paris, you're invited, <laughs> next year around Halloween during Toussaint. So um, it, it all has, for me, reaffirmed that French culture can serve as a bridge. It unites individuals from around the world and it's a way for us to bring our perspectives, new artistic expressions, to a wider audience. Je vous remercie beaucoup pour cette reconnaissance. Merci.
Perfect. Merci.